So, uh, we've done a lot of shopping lately. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia. If you didn't know, now you know. And as you can tell by the title and thumbnail of this video, this is going to be more of like a summer try-on haul. Obviously, it's still March and I live in the state of Maine and it's very cold. We did get a few like spring days that were like 45 degrees last week, but then it dropped back down to 10 degrees on Monday. Either way, I get that it's still winter. Here's the thing. I was vacation shopping, so basically everything I bought was either for vacation or I just bought it because I thought it was cute and it would fit for summer. I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of cute rompers, sweat sets, shorts and t-shirt sets, uh, bathing suits, I have a couple of shoes here, there's a little bit of a variety. Before we get started, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below, it really does help my channel and it's free. So let's get into this try on haul. Just for size reference, I usually am a small, so if I had to size up or size down on something, I'll definitely let you know. I'm going to include the store location and the price on the screen. So we're just going to start with shoes. I wanted a pair of different sneakers. I have a pair of white sneakers and a pair of black and pink ones, but I kind of just wanted a more simple pair. So we went to the Nike store and I just got a pair of black and white sneakers. I have no idea where to buy sandals these days, or honestly shoes in general besides sneakers, but I pulled these cute sandals off of Amazon. They just have a clip on the bottom that goes around your heel and then a cute design that goes on the top of your foot. I just thought these were super cute and would go with a lot of outfits on vacation or just summer in general. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you is the rompers I bought. I bought one, two, three, four different ones. A couple of them were out of my comfort zone. I was thinking more along the lines of vacation with a couple of these, but the first one I got is definitely more simple and something that I would wear every day at work in the summertime. So it's just this cute black and white polka dotted romper. Just this cute little simple thing. Here is the back and honestly, the only thing that is annoying is the tiny little bubble that like you have to put the string around. I struggled with that for a hot minute, but other than that, it is super cute. The material is really good. It doesn't feel too thin. This one is from Old Navy. The next one I got is also another black and white one. These are from Shein, the rest of them. Here is this one, also really cute. I think that these rompers typically are like really wide in the chest and I have a chest so I think if I were to wear this one for work I'd have to put something underneath it so that it didn't go too low cut but other than that it's really cute. The Shein rompers are a little bit thinner but the designs are just so summery so I had to pick up a couple from there. This one is out of my comfort zone because of the color I think but it is a cute little like teal green with orange and yellow flowers. This one I was definitely thinking about vacation with. This one goes even lower in the front, so you can kind of see it in the video of me trying it on. It's definitely a little low. Probably on vacation I won't care, but in everyday life, again, I'd have to wear something underneath it. Either way, cute summer option. And even if I don't wear some of these colorful out of my box clothes on this vacation or in the summertime, like I usually go on vacation every year. So these are the kind of clothes that I'll rotate for that option, I guess. This next one, again, is super cute. I just don't know if I'd wear it in my everyday life. It just doesn't match. Like it, it screams more like I live in Miami type thing. So it's like white on top and like pink and frilly on the bottom and the ties in the back, it's super cute. It's just super fancy. And while I do work in an office and I wear nice clothes, this is just a little more fancier than I would be used to. It might work if I threw a sweater on it for everyday life, but for vacation, perfect. So those are the rompers that I got. And next I'm gonna move on to the crop top and short sets. I bought two. So these sets both came from Lulu's. I got this pair of gray shorts. They are thick and they are warm and they are comfy. The elastic around the waist is like fitting, but not too tight, you know what I mean? It does make you look pretty good. Anyways, these are really comfy. I've never had such comfy shorts before. And then I got this gray crop top, which I think is super cute and look good with like any type of shorts, honestly. As somebody that has a chest and is not like an A cup, but it has the pretty design on it and I just thought this was really cute. It honestly would look good with many types of shorts, but that's what I got. Together is the gray set. Next, I got more of like a tan set. So again, comfy shorts. They're not as firm as the gray ones, but still really comfy and fits really well on me. So here are the tan shorts. Again, really comfy. 
and then here is the top i really like this top it is a little bit longer so it's not like a super super crop top which i actually do like so as you can tell in the video i actually really did like this one this is again super soft and these were from lulu as well the next set I got was actually from White Fox, and it's a pair of sweatpants and a sports bra. So these sweatpants are right here. They are tan. They obviously have a drawstring and pockets. They're pretty thick. They're not as soft as I anticipated them to be, but they are thick and they are still comfortable. This was honestly my first purchase from White Fox for myself. I had bought something for my sister and something for my niece for Christmas and their birthdays from White Fox, and they both said that they really liked the clothes that I bought them, so I was like, why not? buy something for me now and then along with it is the sports bra which is super cute it says white fox across the top in white this is honestly so comfy as well so yeah 10 out of 10 recommend shopping at white fox next i got two pairs of shorts i haven't bought in shorts in a really long time because again i don't know where to buy shorts I feel like the last three pair of my shorts that I really, really liked were from Charlotte Russe and they don't really sell those kind of shorts anymore. But anyways, I got a pair of just plain black shorts. They're high-waisted. They only have one button. My other shorts have like three buttons. But either way, they're still high-waisted. The next pair of shorts is just a regular jean pair of shorts that fold here at the bottom, which I like. And then again, these are high-waisted as well. These are from Old Navy. And then I got two crop top type shirts, but they are not like super cropped. If you're wearing high-waisted shorts, they go right to the top of your high-waisted shorts. So if you were wearing low-rise shorts, obviously it would be a little bit of a crop top. But otherwise, I like the length of it. This is just a very simple white slash cream top from American Eagle. I don't have any like simple tops like this. So I just wanted to buy this. This was super cheap. I also just like wearing simple things. This top would honestly be perfect for like the 4th of July with your family because it's not too cropped. You're being more modest. It goes right to your shorts, but it still has spaghetti straps. So if you're hot in the sun, then that works out. And the next shirt I got was from American Eagle. Again, this shirt either goes right to the top of your high-waisted clothes or it could be a little bit of a crop if you wore low-rise pants. This is super cute and I do really like this color on me, so I bought this and it's really soft and really comfy. Next thing I got was this really comfy white sweatshirt from the Nike store. One of my friends actually threw this at me when we were birthday shopping on my birthday last week and I just think it's really cute. So it's just this white slash gray cropped sweatshirt. It looks really good with high-waisted shorts. And these kind of sweatshirts are just perfect to throw on in the summertime. When the sun starts to go down, it starts to get cold. Or you could just throw it on over your bathing suit after you go swimming and it'll warm you up a bit. So anyways, I think this is super cute. <laughs> As for bathing suits, I bought two different bathing suits. The only problem I have with today's type of bathing suits is that they want you to be all natural. They don't want to put wires in their bathing suits anymore at the bottom of your chest. And I kind of need that because I got a chest. Either way, I do really like these bathing suits. So I'm not going to lie. This first one from Revolve was pricey and I think I got it for 50% off and I still paid $108 for the bathing suit set. It was pricey. Everybody raves about Revolve and I just wanted to try it and honestly I really love the bathing suit and the material and the quality. Is it worth $108? I think so. I got it half off. I don't think I would have paid $200 for it but either way here is the bottoms which is super cute. It has these circles here and then two straps on each side. And then the top is a nice bright red and it's just like a bandeau top. And I like the side of it. It has like four strings that go on the side of your body. And then the left side of it just ties on your shoulder. So I think this is super cute. The next bathing suit I got was from Lulu's I believe. This one was not as expensive as Revolve but still kind of pricey. This one came as a set. I just really love the color of this one. So here are the bottoms. It's more of like a peachy color. And here's the back, which is super cute. And then the top, I just adore, except for the fact that it doesn't have a wire. I'm not sure if I'm going to show you the try on video, but either way, I probably would have done better with a wire, but it's still super cute. Here is the design on it. I had to size up on this because I have a chest. So I typically buy a small in bottoms and then have to buy a medium or a large in the top which for this store in particular was a large 
I do like the back though. It like crosses in the back. I guess it would be easier if I held it upside down. But yeah, it crosses in the back and that's super cute. I really like this design. I'm gonna make it work because I think it's super cute. And the last thing that I got for vacation was this cute little bag. And I actually got it from Kohl's. It's just this gray little backpack and I thought it would be a cute little carry-on. Never really have had a good carry-on bag and I vacation all the time or I used to before COVID. So I just thought this would be a cute little option to bring. I don't need to carry a lot. I carry like a phone charger, a phone, headphones, maybe a snack. I don't carry a lot. So this cute tiny little bag I thought would be perfect. <laughs> And that is it from my summer try-on haul all for vacation. I totally realized that I'm only going on vacation for a week and I will likely not wear all those things. Either way, I just went on a little bit of a shopping spree. I don't even want to know what I spent. I have not sat down to add it all up. And I don't think I want to, but maybe I will. Either way, this was a very pricey purchase. I don't do this very often at all. I usually am buying lots of gifts for other people and not a lot for myself. So this was just kind of a treat myself kind of moment. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this try on haul. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up, hit the red subscribe button down below and I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>